Hello and welcome back to A Little Crazy. What I've got to do now is quite a bit of work around this galley area. I've got to put the electrics in for the small light, the reading light that goes on the other side of this board. I'm going to put a small 13 amp single socket there uh, with USB. I've got to do the electrics for the fridge the gas for the cooker hob, the electrics for the uh, water pump and any other things that uh, need to be wired up. Now originally I was going to come ac straight across the ceiling and then down in the uh, WC area and then through this way but there's no real route of doing that without the wires being seen or having a conduit down. So. What I've decided is I'm going to come straight from the helm, straight down to the seat, then either go across this floor under the step box, which will bring me out underneath the WC floor, and then under the floor to the galley unit. Um, failing that, I'll go from the helm down outside underneath the decking and then through underneath the floors from that way. I'll have to have a look at that see which is the best way to do it. In the meantime I'm having a look at this acrylic because if you remember on my last episode or one of the last episodes I mentioned that the surround of this galley unit was going to be done in acrylic if I could do it. I've, I've never done it before so I'm going to have a go at it. This will be the hardest thing this is the acrylic across the front here. Cutting to size is fine to put that on there, but what I've got to do is I've got to cut the accesses for the fridge and the door out of there. Uh, acrylic is not supposed to be something that's easy to do. I've also got to put a vent for the fridge top and bottom and I've also got a small switch panel for the fridge which I'll need to put in there so most of this will actually be cut out um, it'll be a pain in the bum if I get almost finished and then uh, something goes wrong because uh, you don't get many chances with this stuff now the other piece that I've got here this piece here this is to go up this side and across here following this angle. Again it's not going to be easy to do and then the final piece will be a splash back on that side. There will be acrylic sliders as you know going across there. So first thing I've got to think about is cutting the acrylic around this angle I've either got to cut this angle out anyway but I've either got a cut out around the worktop and down the front of the unit or remove the worktop which has got to come out anyway to do the electrics remove the worktop and take this in length down by 6mm this will allow the acrylic to go down the sides of the worktop um, don't think it will make any uh, neater finish because uh, it will all be sealed anyway, you won't see it, but uh, it's whichever way is the easiest. So I'll take this out anyway, attempt to cut this in, and I won't cut this until I've done this. The door fronts don't really matter, because if I cock this bit up, well, just come up with another plan, but it's the splashbacks that I need, and the piece down the front there. But I won't cut this, as I say, until I know that this is correct. There's no point in cutting this, making a gap down each side, and then finding I can't put the acrylic on there, then I've got to fill the gaps up. Okay, that's the plan. Right, this is going to be my first attempt to uh, cut this acrylic. Now I realise that uh, in an ideal world it would be clamped in some way, and on an even table. I can see this uh, flap around like a wet fish. 
when I start cutting it but uh, I don't have the facility for holding it onto anything with a gap in the centre um, so I'll give it a go at this um, see how we go what could go wrong You didn't see most of that cut because uh, the camera fell over but he's cut it all right this is cast acrylic and the manufacturers did say that it's a bit more forgivable than the other stuff obviously using a plastic uh, blade plastic cutting blade I should say in there so what is this this is the part that comes up the side of the galley unit and it curves around on the petition wall goes along past the galley as they splash back and then curves back up so what I've got to do is take this back up onto the boat this this end is a bit a bit high um, it's probably got about just over a centimeter to cut off of there to allow it to slot in to where it needs to go but uh, I'll take this up and see how we're going first and then uh, take that little piece out there so that it slots in that then allows me when it's sitting up that way to do the curve around and the curve back up so I can mark this up on the boat when it's in situ this other piece here will be ideal for the splashback on the other side right so that first cuts up in its position as you can see it needs to shunty over a bit and that's because I've got to cut this top down it's only a small cut just enough to get it to slide it in there I don't want to cut too much because as you can see from the back of it you can see where the board tapers down from that point so I can't go too far in so even if I do small increments keep bringing it up um, make sure then that it fits this end the height and move it up there again and this front edge of that uh, splash back then I can put it in position like so so it'll be in there like that and then I can come around the back of it and scribe around there and hopefully cut that nicely. Right. Let's take that piece off that corner. Now for the curvy cut. This is going to be uh, slightly more difficult. As you can see I'm on this side of the board now where the other side had that uh, fairly white paper on it this is nearly clear so my markings are very very faint but I've mean, got the light over us let's see how we go Very, very difficult to see. A fluorescent pen, that's what I need. It doesn't look too bad, there's just one, one piece down on this corner. I think it's a bit too much to sand. I'll just take that off.
Yeah, I don't look too bad. All depends on what it looks like up on the boat in the position there. Just very slightly proud in uh, places, which, as I said, we can uh, sand down. Right, there we are then. I said about uh, sanding the edges down, you know, but uh, that's not a bad edge. Considering I couldn't see what I was doing, it's a little bit to sand there. That was the bit that uh, I missed in the first place. But yeah, that's, that's not bad, it's only a little bit of sand. Remembering there's a, a cap that goes over this all the way up as well. So, I mean, if it was lower, it wouldn't matter too much. But uh, no, I'm very happy with that. Let's hope the rest of it goes like it. Got the front face properly in place. Now I've just got to work out the best way to uh, do those few cutouts on the front. Large one for the door, large one for the fridge, then the upper and lower air vent, and then the switch panel. I shall probably mark them from inside. Just scribe round the framework. Seems to be the easy way to go for me. You may see in these videos as well, things popping in and popping out, things done and then not done. That's because I do certain bits and then I'll carry on with something else. So for argument's sake, I'll probably do the electrics over that side at the moment and probably have that floor up before I go any further than this because I don't want to get all this sorted, stuck on and then still got to take the floors up in both of those rooms there for the electrics. Okay, now for the scary part on this acrylic. I'm going to need to cut out some holes for these grills there. One there, one there. Then I'm going to need to cut out the square for the fridge to sit in. And finally, cut out the hole where the door goes over. It is a bit scary. I've test piloted on a rough piece just to make sure the drill will go in and not shatter it. That's not saying it won't when I'm working on the other piece. But uh, so far so good. What I'll do is I'll put a couple of holes in either side and then work around with the jigsaw. Now I know it's going to flap about, hopefully not too much that it causes me a problem, but uh, we'll just see how we go. Just take it slowly and uh, hopefully we'll get a good job done. That's the four cuts. 
Now it's not the most accurate thing to do is use a jigsaw freehand as we all know without a jig but there should be enough tolerance in this when I put it onto the frame any high bits I can knock down any low bits that's a problem Thank you.